Hello, investing friends. We'll start here in a minute. The, uh, we started early, just a few seconds early, so we'll give a few more seconds for the countdown, and then we'll start. Big day today. Big day. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it in the intro, but got a call to action and a new hire at Cassava Sciences. It's a very cool stuff. Let's jump ahead in the countdown. Jumping ahead in the countdown. And then we will get started. Hello, investing friends. Welcome into Investors Club. Got a great show for you. We have a call to action. Got a call to action. Got stuff for you to do now. There's a link in the description to the new petition. New petition. This one is calling for the FDA and Cassava Sciences to work together to bring somiflam to Alzheimer's patients as soon as possible. This one is going to be sent to Billy Cardiff the commissioner of the FDA. What AMLX did, Amelix has an ALS drug that was denied. It had the advisory committee uh, voted uh, not to approve uh, ALS, Amelix's ALS drug. ALS is a fatal neurological disease. So what the uh, so what, what, what uh, advocacy groups did was they gathered more than 50,000 signatures and thousands of comments and dozens of signatures from doctors uh, and sent it to the commissioner of the FDA saying, saying you have to approve this as soon as possible because people are dying and the drug looks like it works. So we want to follow in their footsteps. So I, we did a change.org petition, collects comments and signatures, asking FDA and Cassava Science to work together. And so that petition is in the, is in the comments. Please sign and comment now. More than that, though, we need this petition to go viral. They got 50,000 comments for ALS. Alzheimer's disease affects everybody in the world. ALS is a rare disease. Alzheimer's disease affects everybody. We have to get at least 100,000, and we can. And the way to do that is to go viral. And the way we go viral, we're going to talk specifically about it, but uh, it's going to be including video clips and retweeting each other. So all of us retweeting each other, we know that, yeah, that's sort of how you go viral. But the key, when you, when you do the force multiplier video, the algorithm loves video. So if we all include clips from the video and all retweet each other, that will make us go viral and that will make the petition get what we need to go, get what we need it to get and help get this drug to market early. Very awesome stuff. So we'll take a look at that. And Cassava Sciences hired a litigator from Harvard. They hired a, 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 US, a U.S. attorney, a U.S. assistant attorney who went to Harvard Law, has a very long distinguished career. There's no way... There's no way this U.S. assistant district attorney, U.S. assistant attorney uh, who went to Harvard Law, who's been practicing for 20 years, uh, would sign on as a full-time employee at a criminal outfit. He is on the side of right, and him uh, signing on Cassava is huge. We knew Cassava was in the right and the shorts were in the wrong, and we saw a quote, see a quote from Mr. Barbier saying there's stuff coming. Well, this is a huge step. They got a Harvard Law litigator full-time. Huge, just huge. A, a former uh, US, att U.S. assistant attorney, just humongous, humongous. There's no way somebody like that would, would put their name on a, on a questionable outfit. No way. So that's humongous. And the petition is humongous. Got a lot to cover. And not investment advisor, not investment advice, number one ranked stock analyst in the world. What we're doing here is the best research and analysis for you and me, the regular investor, because the financial media lies to us. It's controlled by the hedge funds and the special interests, and they don't have our best interest in mind. But that's okay, because we have each other. We have Investors Club, and we're going to do a way better job than those bozos ever could anyway. If you like that, please hit like. You're going to like, liking, like, and the algorithm likes like. And you're going to like, liking, like. I'll tell you that. And please subscribe. And let's get into it. Let's do it. Quick check of the market. Pretty good day in the market. Fusion is up more than 4%. Uh, SC Pharma was hanging around flat. Thank you for the likes, guys. Sava is down a little bit. Sava down 1%, no big deal. Okie dokie. Let's get into the let's get into the, the meat and potatoes. 
Here is the petition. Please go to the description right now and sign and comment. Comment that petition. Uh, leave comments. So it's not just the signatures. It was the thousands of heartfelt comments from patients and family members of patients uh, saying we need this drug. Uh, so, so let's check it out. Let's see how many. This is only it's only a few hours old. Let's see how many signatures we've got. Zero, one, two, three, 40, 60, 93. All right, 93, 94, 95. When we get to 100, it's more likely to be recommended. 96, 97. All right, let's, let's, let's read this signature. This is based on, I wrote this based on what Amalek successfully did. We want, they were successful out the wazoo. They, they hit it out of the park. They, want, they got exactly, exactly, exactly what we need on similar data. So we should do what they're doing. So this is based on what they did. 110 people signed. Awesomeness. Bring somiphilam to Alzheimer's patients as soon as possible. FDA and cassava sciences. Bring somiphilam to Alzheimer's patients as soon as possible. Cassava sciences has an experimental drug called somiphilam that may slow or reverse the progression of Alzheimer's disease. We are asking the FDA and cassava sciences to work together to bring somiphilam to people with Alzheimer's disease as soon as possible. People with Alzheimer's disease are in dire need of effective treatments. Alzheimer's disease is always fatal and is an especially tragic condition where patients can become strangers to loved ones. More than 6 million Americans currently have Alzheimer's disease and that number is set to double. Trials of somiphilam have demonstrated substantial improvements in patients' cognition and behavior and the data is backed up by biomarker evidence and testimonials by both treating doctors and families. The drug is also shown to be safe and well tolerated with over 300,000 doses given in clinical trials. Given the results of the trials, Cassava Sciences and the FDA must take courageous and bold action. The FDA has emphasized and demonstrated the appropriateness of exercising flexibility when dealing with serious diseases with unmet medical needs. People with Alzheimer's disease are willing to accept higher levels of risk for the chance for clinical benefit. In the case of somiphilam, safety does not appear to be a critical concern. The data demonstrates that somiphilam could offer meaningful benefit to many people with Alzheimer's disease. Therefore, we ask the FDA to address this issue with urgency by approving the drug prior to a phase three trial and requiring rigorous follow-up studies while the drug is being brought and available on the market brought to and available on the market. And then we have quotes here. She has actually improved in her condition, in her cognition, Dr. A. She became more engaged, more sociable, and she was less irritable. And that was a huge win, Dr. A. I called and spoke with the investigator and he said in the 20 years that he's been doing Alzheimer's studies, this is the first one that he's actually been noticing improvements in cognitive function, Dr. E. ADAS COG had improved by four points. Dr. M. He had a drastic difference from the time he started the drug. Hillary Metz, Esquire. And then we've got the reasons for signing. Bruce, Matt, Nicola, John, Gregory, Anthony, and Joseph have all left comments. Uh, sign and leave comments. Got to leave. Oh, we have also have Royce as well. Dennis, if we didn't say. So great job, great job. And we'll go like those comments as well. Awesome work. Here's Robert Cadiff. So they sent this to Han, who was the old commissioner of the FDA. We'll send this to Robert Califf. I said Cadiff, Califf. Here is uh, the, the letter they sent to Commissioner Han. So after they have their, after we have all of our signatures, we'll send a, a letter to Commissioner Califf saying, check this out. This is what started the ball rolling. This got the advisory committee to reconvene and change their vote. They even said so. This is what we have to do, and this is what we're doing. All right. Uh, so let's talk about how to make this go viral. Okay, so th this is the call to action. So everybody, please do this. Make a clip and tweet it. And when you tweet it, tweet it to me. Then go to my account. I will retweet everything everybody's tweeting. Go and retweet what I'm retweeting. 
then everything will be will be uh, and like it too. Then then every then all of your stuff will be liked and retweeted, and everything everybody else's stuff will be liked and retweeted. That's how we'll go viral. So how do you do a clip? So first sign the petition, and then make a clip. So if you go to uh, Investors Club and go to any, you can do any of the interviews. There's like four or five different versions of the interviews now. But I'll make a uh, I'm gonna I'll make one here. Just find a, a, a find a good less than one minute clip of anything these people say. So here's Doctor E. Called and spoke with the investigator. The state. This was in the middle of the pandemic in 2020, uh, before we had vaccines. So what I did was I called and spoke. What I did. Called and spoke. The pandemic in 2020, uh, before we had vaccines. So what I did was I. Okay, so I'm gonna so I'm okay, gonna no, so to make a clip, I'm gonna hit clip right here. See where it says clip right there. So I'll go to any of these videos and hit clip, clip right I here. Called and spoke with the investigator. So I'm going to start at that 356 and then I'll jump out to I'll just let it play. Um, and kind of ran the scenario by him. And I asked, you know, I asked him straight out, you know, me and we, we scheduled it was I called and spoke with the investigator um, and kind of ran the scenario by him. And I asked, you know, I asked him straight out. You know, if this was your father, yep. would you bring him down to Miami uh, to determine if he's a candidate? Um, and he said in the 20 years that he's been doing Alzheimer's studies, this is the first one that he's actually been noticing improvements wow. in cognitive function without wow. side effects. Wow. So without side effects. Okay, so 424, I'll stop it there. Is I called and spoke with the yeah, investigator. I'll give that a name. Um, and kind of ran the scenario First by him. And I asked, you know, I asked him straight Oscar. out, you know, if this was your father, yeah. would you bring him down to Miami uh, to determine if he's oh. a candidate? Um, and he said in the 20 years that he's been doing Alzheimer's studies, this is the first one that he's actually been noticing improvements wow. in cognitive function yeah. without side effects. It was like called. Okay. So I, I clipped that less than a minute clip. I called it first drug doctor has seen working in 20 years. And now I'm going to hit share clip and that'll give me a link. So I'll copy that link. Now I'm going to go to Twitter. And I'll say something like sign the petition to bring this amazing drug to patients. And there's the clip I just made. And here's the petition. Okay. And then I'm going to put in there at Joe Springer, even though I am Joe Springer. If you tweet it to me, I will retweet all of these, then go into and retweet everything I'm retweeting and like it. And we will go viral that way. We will go viral and we'll get this thing. We will get this petition to blow up and we'll get this. If we can follow in AMLX's footsteps, we can help get this drug to market early, which is incredible. Save millions of lives. Tweet. All right. And then there's this guy. Then there is Chris Cook. Uh, Chris Cook, a skilled litigator to join management team as general counsel. New positions expected to be critical to operations and strategic initiatives. What strategic initiatives are those? Uh, if, at the at, at the H.C. Wainwright, let me, let me grab this again. At the H.C. Wainwright, at H.C. Wainwright, uh, Mr. Barbier said, uh, stay tuned. We got some more stuff coming referring to the shorts. And here in the Discord, here in the Discord, uh, so look, you guys, you guys are the pros when it comes to stock prices and stock picking and so forth. We run a company and we, you know, do what we can to try to communicate what's out there. I can tell you it's an open secret that, you know, I call it the mother of all shorts. Uh, short attacks was inflicted, inflicted on cassava sciences. Uh, we think we know what's happening there. Um, there will be news. I believe there will be more news about that. So this litigator is there to go after the shorts, it seems. So this is just great stuff. Chris is an accomplished legal advisor, skilled litigator, and proven leader in legal matters. 
Very excited. Chris will shortly join us at Cassava Sciences in-house general counsel. I'm confident his experience and deep expertise will be a critical addition to the company's business operations and initiatives. Chris has over 25 years of experience working in healthcare, private practice, and government. He joins Cassava Sciences from Alcon, a publicly traded medical company where he served as global head of litigation and government investigations since 2017. Prior to Alcon, VP, general counsel for Walmart, Costa Rica. Chris practiced law at Jones Day, National Law, 17 years, where he's a litigation partner in firms Washington, D.C. and Chicago offices. Before that, Chris served as an assistant U.S. attorney in Chicago. This guy's very impressive. B.A. from Emory, Juris Doctor, Harvard Law School. Harvard Law School doesn't get better than that. Does not get better than that. This guy would not put his name on this company if he wasn't sure they were in the right and the shorts are in the wrong. This is huge. This guy's very qualified. Chris Cook, Fort Worth, Texas. Good job, good job. And then the great Matt Nachtrab points out that, that his international, there's a, an article here that uh, Matt links talking about uh, interna- getting, getting justice internationally. So this, and he has healthcare experience as well. So perhaps he could play a role in an international rollout. Who knows? All righty, guys. A lot of good stuff. Join the newsletters in the description. Join the newsletters in the description. Got a... Uh, I got, I've, I did the petition. This, I, I finished the petition off. I've got the, the email going in the petition. I did the, I finished the petition so we could have it. I'll finish the email. The first, the tech, the tech small cap this afternoon. Very great one. And then I got a biotech small cap coming uh, by Halloween. So sign up for the newsletters. Sign up for the newsletters. Tom Liu. Hi, Joe. The drug should be in Thailand to begin with. I like to see the legend on the spot without any middleman as reviews. Such layer can only destroy lives. Yeah, you always talk about Thailand, yeah. David Best, all eyes on Palantir Demo Day presentation with live interviews from big name adopters, Morgan Stanley, etc. I had heard that. Big data mining will become the new oil of 21st century. Yeah, Palantir is very interesting. LB, hi Joe, the value on Sava recently has been very low. Any insight? Why? In any Is that good or bad indicator? It could be that the... Because most of the most of the volume is fake. Most of the volume is fake. It's market makers playing their games. Uh, you know, I would say easily less than half. Easily less than half of what's in there is real buying and selling. So maybe they're starting to play less games. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'd also before I before I comment more, I'd like to look at the broader market. Is there is there is there more or less volume in the in the healthcare space? I'm frankly off the top of my head. I'm not sure. Everyone pick names. J. Names of your local TV station and radio. Look up their emails and send petition throughout the USA. So I had said include at Joe Springer when you tweet that and you need and do that. That way we'll have a central place. You go to my tweets. I'll retweet everything. Retweet everything I'm retweeting. And then everybody's uh, tweets will get, will get more and more uh, likes and tweets. And then Jay says, in addition to including me, include your local TV station, your local uh, radio. Look up their emails and send them that. Pretty P, good morning, Joe. Good morning, Pretty P. Uh, oops, good morning, Pretty P. Uh, what are your views on Chris Cook joining Cassava? Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. A huge endorsement from a top level guy that would never sign on with a risky company. This is, it, we know already they're in the right and the shorts are in the wrong. This is further validation from a guy that would never sign on. A former US assistant attorney with a distinguished 25 year career from Harvard Law would never flush his career down the toilet signing his name on to a fly-by-night company that's in the wrong doing crappy things. Huge, huge, huge stuff. Mike P. Thank you, Pretty P. Mike P. Good morning, Joe. How about having the clips posted on TikTok? Great idea. Jay wants me to get on TikTok doing that stuff too. That's a great idea. Yeah, I did a, uh, I did a, on YouTube a short, which is YouTube's answer to TikTok, and that was fine. I did one for Max Payne just to try it out. But now that I've thought about it, I was like, man, I should be doing lots and lots and lots of shorts for everything good about those testimonials. So that's what I'll do. And then I'll have those cut up for TikTok as well. So that's what I'll do. Great idea, Mike. Thank you. Phil, good morning all from the West Coast, the best coast. Good to see you, my friend, from the left coast. Jay Abrams, email any radio station that has local radio doctor show, send a doctor on the show. Great idea. There's a lot of life sciences, a lot of healthcare uh, podcast uh, shows that have 
uh, health spin. Great, great, great thinking, Jay. Jeffrey says, would not want to be Bick, Thomas, Brett, or Heilbutt right now. Yeah. Or Pitt. Or Pitt. Frankly, I would never want to be those awful people. And that's it. Nothing else on an exciting day like this. Nothing else to say. Well, I do have another thing. Maybe I'll bring up the other thing then. I thought we'd have so much to talk about. I wouldn't have time to get to this other thing. But if we do, we do. All right, so let's do this other thing. Check this out. Uh, you got to find a quote quick. Find a quote quick. There it is. There it is. Okay, this is about uh, one of the one of the bozos. It was quoted in the New York Times. One of the bozos that probably took a little bit of money in the New York Times to buy from Big Pharma to bash cassava. So, Dr. Thomas Sudhoff, a Nobel laureate. Laureate means they were an award winner. So, a Nobel award winner. We'll talk about award winners here in a second. The overall conclusions with regard to Alzheimer's disease make no sense to me whatsoever. Cassava's theories are not in the mainstream of the field, and to me they seem implausible and contrived. The only theory that's in the mainstream of the field is the well-destroyed amyloid hypothesis. That's the only thing in the mainstream. All he's saying is this is not yet another failure in amyloid hypothesis, and to me that seems implausible, implausible and contrived. So that his, his argument, this Nobel laureate's argument, is that it's not mainstream. Not mainstream. What an idiot. What a useless moron. And that takes us over here to... I, was, I just saw this. This was just a cool graphic thing. So there's Murray at three. Look, so this is, this is the men's tennis. And so Djokovic, I just saw this. and I, I liked the graphics, so I watched it. And I guess, I guess this Djokovic guy's just been on top and nobody's going to knock him up. But here comes Murray. Look at Murray. Murray goes 3-2 to two and then comes up in 2016, wins the Olympics, wins a bunch of Grand Slams, becomes number one uh, record-setting guy. And I guess, I guess nobody's going to – he's going to be on top for a while now. But then 2017 comes, and not only does Murray fall off at number one, he plummets completely off the list, never to return. What the heck happened in 2017? In 2016, this guy won the Olympics and so many Grand Slams, he became the number one player in the world. And in 2017, he fell off the list, never to return. What happened in 2017? Well, let's see. Let's see. Murray was knighted. Murray was knighted. Murray was knighted in 2017 New Year's Honors for services to tennis and charity, making him the UK's youngest knight at 29. And it obliterated, ended his career. He won everything, got knighted for it, got an award, and it ended his career. And where do we get this about awards destroy your career? This is from uh, Marginal Revolution. This is Tyler Cowen's economics blog. And this is, this is a post almost 10 years ago now, but he talks about this as a repeatable thing uh, a lot. And that is, you can see, this is, this is Fields medalists. This is uh, for... Mathematics. This is a prize in mathematics. But look at the, the the blue is the people that are in line for the medals but don't get it. The red is there are the people that are in line for the medals and do get it. And this is number of papers published per year. And it's measurable that the people that win become less productive. And it's because they get lazy. It's also because they then ex expand out into other fields, partly. But it's mostly because, or it's at least partly because, they get lazy. And they start thinking they're great and don't have to work hard. So, Thomas Sudhoff, they gave you a Nobel Prize, and the best thing you can say is, if it's not an amyloid hypothesis theory drug in Alzheimer's, I don't think it can work. You're an idiot, and you should give your Nobel Prize back. All right. And tried to clip plan and, and, and tag you, buddy. Ryan, way to go. Thank you, my friend. 
Silver, love the new hire. Always thought Eric Schoen was in over his head. This is huge news. Eric's an accountant. He's a good, he's a good CFO, it seems. You know, they raised good money. They've seemed done a good job, you know. Uh, but he's he's not a he's just not a litigator. Eric's not a litigator. That's that's just asking too much. Royce, new hire is very exciting for sure. Love the Starburst transition, brother. I do too. <laughs> yeah, the Starburst, I can't get enough of it. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Mike P and post clips to Facebook and other sites. Yeah, if if you do, if you retweet me on Twitter, we'll have a central place for it. But yeah, Facebook, Twitter, uh, MySpace, <laughs> uh, whatever the kids are doing, Instagram, all, all the all the uh, all the stuff, TikTok, all the stuff. What do you think about contacting Bernie Sanders? I'm frankly, uh, I'm not against it. The we've we've not had any luck at all with politicians, but you know, not against it. Murray had a lot of back issues that kept him away from tennis. Yeah, he had like hip surgery and that ended his career, I guess. Nevertheless, the second he got, he got knighted and that was it. That was it. <laughs> Silver, I checked Truthful Hand Citizens Petition last night to see if my comment was posted. And I noticed there were only 83 comments. There were only since 917. 83 is good. We were at like 71 yesterday. That's really good. The thing about that one, the Citizens Petition... Our, our earlier citizen petition got rejected. That's that's a good way to perhaps to get attention to it, but it's not the the correct path. That uh, it, 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 the citizen petition is not the right path. The last one got denied because it's not the right path. This one will probably get denied as well. It's not the right path, but it's good to call attention. What is the right path? Amulek showed us to get, to get all these petitions and signatures, comments, and um, word from doctors, and send it to the commissioner of the FDA asking them to do something, and that's what got the advisory committee to meet. Mike has the right idea. Yes, he does. Post clips to Facebook and other sites. Yes, yes, and yes. Phil. Sodoff's Nobel was in 2013. He's old school, closed-minded, and maybe needs some Mifilam. <laughs> that guy, he's a Stanford guy. Is that the guy that also took his California school out of the trials? Is that might, might be the same guy. There's another California moron. That, that, uh, that added to the FUD by saying, oh, no, we're not going to run that trial here. Almost certainly taking money from Big Pharma. Our Lord and Savior, JC. Hi, Joe. Good morning. You should really try contacting Fox and Tucker. He's mentioned AD on a few of his shows. Maybe that's next. Maybe we, as part of our going viral here, we, we can get to Tucker. That would be great. That would be totally awesome. Any, 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 big, any big way to get the, to spread the word. Absolutely. All righty, great to see you guys. Uh, a lot of very cool stuff. Uh, that cook hire is totally awesome, uh, but we got to get the petition. Uh, can, the petition can get us to early approval, like Amelix. So that's just let's go full full force on it. All advancement is usually due to the unreasonable man. Exactly right. Comfortable, uh, comfortable people don't do anything. Good times make weak people. Tough times make strong people. Keith and Suzanne, hi, Joe. We hope all the new central nervous system drugs save the lives of the many NFL players getting concussions. Yeah, that's scary stuff. Uh, seeing Tua and those guys. Yo, man, those guys whack their heads so much. Yeah, it's not good stuff. Not good stuff. And did you know that boxers, uh, the, the headgear they wear, the heaviness actually makes their heads heavier, actually increases concussions? So when they spar and they wear that, the reason they wear the those the headgear is to keep from getting cuts. So they don't get cuts. Then they, when they go into their real fight, now they got a cut that opens up. They actually get more uh, brain damage from their from the from the heavy padding they wear on their heads in sparring. So this, yuck. Remind Mark says reminds me a little bit of Robert Irvine on Restaurant Impossible. Hope he takes a sledgehammer to the short. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know that one. I'll have to check it out. All right, my investing friends, great to see you. We'll do it again tomorrow. And tell you what, let's see, let's see how many signatures we got. Let's see how many signatures we got. Let's see how many signatures we got, unless I already closed it. In which case, I'm an idiot. There it is. 132, is that? 134, not too shabby. Let's see the uh, the comments. Matt says, the drug has real promise to help millions of patients and families right now. The drug is safe, but under attack by very bad actors out of greed, jealousy, or ignorance. 
A patient, very powerful advocate needs to step up and look at this situation that can see through the noise to the real value that exists here. John says, I witnessed my father suffer and die from this awful disease. Please give this drug EUA for people suffering from Alzheimer's. Bruce signed, Greg signed, Anthony, Joe, Christopher, Nicola, Larry, Mark. It's like all your comments here. Great work, everybody. Great work, everybody. Uh, please, uh, please sign and, and do comments and share. All right, let's see if we got any more. Any more to chat about? Yeah. Jay, where do you think SCPH will end up IB in price for SCPH? Depends when you're talking about. They're about to report the quarter they just said. That doesn't much matter. I guess we'll get a little bit of detail, but we really won't start getting real detail until they roll out in Q1. And then those quarters are going to be really interesting to hear all the, hear, hear the metrics. Uh, where do I think it'll end up? I think they will be successful. And I think it is a fraction, a small fraction of where it will end up. So we'll see. The market still has to adopt it. But mercy, we've seen the reasons that we think the market will adopt it. So I think it'll end up in triple digits eventually is where I, where I think. I think it'll end up in triple digits eventually, my friend. James, MMA 20 years ago wore, headgear, wore, wore headgear two times. MMA is better for you. Because MMA, you don't just take you don't just take shot after shot after shot after shot after shot to the head. You get choked out, or you get your elbow bent backwards, and then you say stop. And then as yeah, so MMA is much, those those poor people still end up like some of them still. I mean, it's just really really horrible. If you, I, I'm an MMA fan, and now I've been an MMA fan long enough to have seen some of the guys rise, and then some of them have ended up uh, like uh, blessed. What's the blessed blessed guy from Hawaii, Max? He's, I mean, he was, he was one of the best and are somewhat articulate. And now he's just a, he has so much brain damage. It's really scary. So, yeah. Uh, I'm seeing 154 signatures already. Go team. We're going to get to 100,000. And we haven't even gone viral yet. We can get to 100,000 or more. Practice boxing every class. I used to, I used to take, I used to do boxing in a class as well. Punching, I didn't mind so much. Getting punched <laughs> was different. Why does Compass keep dropping? Uh, it's not seeming to have too bad of a day today. I don't see it. There it is. It's flat today. Uh, it's, it's a biotech. It's all over the place. I don't know. It has huge upside. We'll see. Maybe that's when we can get the uh, get the CEO on because that's such an exciting area. The compass compass with the psilocybin. All right, guys, great to see you. Uh, let's get busy uh, going viral, and that'll be totally awesome. And we will help get this drug, which can help save millions of lives, to market early, years early, perhaps. Or we could have wait and sit around and have millions of people die, millions of our loved ones die. Instead, we can do something miraculous, uh, and it's totally awesome. So let's do this, and we will do it, and it'll be great. And uh, tomorrow, I'll come back with more updates. I'll get a, a document going. I'll do the, do the short, small-cap email, but I'll get a document going for doctors. And then we'll start uh, getting doctors to sign on, saying, I'm a doctor, and I've seen this work, and you got to let it. Or either I'm a doctor, and I've seen this work, or I'm a doctor, and I like what I see in the data. And I, and I want you to, to consider approving this now. All right. Great to see you guys. We'll do it again tomorrow. Have a great night. Sign up for the Discord to get that new email. You get the, 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 There's two small caps coming in the next four days, a tech and a biotech. Sign up, for the, sign up for the small caps to get that. And I'll see you guys in the Discord. See you in the Discord. Have a great night.